regards to money and women. Rina, one of the hardest things that most of us find ourselves in is to keep, to, you know, just very similar to what Grace was saying. Every new year there's a resolution people are making, their financial goals people make. I had this friend of mine who really wanted to buy a car and every year she would plan for it and at the end of the year she would tell us, People told me they like my walking style. <laughs> and, and, and yeah, that's, that's why I'm not achieved this. How, Rina, how, as, as women, how can we make, how can we start in the first place? Make real, proper financial goals and stick to them. Yeah. Okay. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. And happy International Women's Day. It's such a pleasure to be here. Um, your Leader Ashoksha is a good, good friend. We've known each other for a long time. He's also a client, and we are clients of APA, so I feel like I'm at home. Thank you for having us. Um, thank you for the question, Irene. I, I, um, I think the reason sometimes our goals don't work is because they're not meaningful. Um, and we don't take time. We know it's important to save. It's, it's important to spend less than we earn. It's important to exercise. It's important to eat healthy. Well, we don't do it because we, we haven't quite, it's not meaningful for us. Um, so I think I wanna say two things. The first thing I want to say is that many times we start with thinking through, what do I want to have? Um, so that then I can do what I need to do and then I'll become this person. Uh, and that cuts across everything in life. I, and I want us to change that from being who must I be, you know, who must I, what must I have, what must I do, and then I'll be calm, to who must I first be, and then what do I need to do so that then I can have. So it's just changing your mindset. You talked about the skills. Yeah, I'm going to repeat it again with an example. So for instance, I'll, I'll use exercise as an example, and then I'll come to my finances. So I, I was giving this story yesterday somewhere. I wanted to become strong by the time I'm 50. So it's still a goal. I'm like, when I'm 50, this story of women losing bone density is not going to be my story. I'm going to work hard at it and I want to exercise. And so I told my husband, I said, I'm going to be a strong woman. So this means cardio has never been a problem for me, but strength exercises have. So I just haven't done strength exercises. And so I decided, you know, once I turn 40, that's something I'm going to incorporate and I'm going to be very consistent. And then I just wasn't. It would be five days I've done no exercise. And so one day I wake up, I go towards uh, my bathroom and my husband stops me and says, um, do you know why you're struggling to become consistent? It's because you don't see yourself as an athlete. So putting it into context, my husband is an athlete. I mean, he played rugby, represented the country, played in the World Cup. So, I mean, he's, he's an athlete until today. And so um, I was like, okay. So he sends me a video for me to watch to see the importance of seeing myself as an athlete. So if I see myself as an investor, I see myself as a wealthy Kenyan, I see myself as an investor, I love what she said. I am excellent in everything that I do. And so because she sees herself that way, excellence oozes out of her. So it's how are you seeing yourself? Now, that's where it begins. But where do you actually start? Okay, I've seen myself as an investor, where do I begin? It begins by you asking yourself, what do I want to see happen here? Like really, what do I want to see happen here? Is it 100 million? Is it 10 million? Is it 1 million? Is it 100,000? And by when? Okay, so once you see who you are and then what do you want to see happen here, you ask yourself, what do I need to do to get there? Where am I now? So that's, so the first thing is, what do I want to see happen here? The second thing is assessing where you are now. How much do I earn? How much do I have in terms of assets? What do I own? How much do I owe and how much am I spending? Assessing where I am, because that's where I want to go, but here is where I am right now. And what do I need to do to then get there? So the third thing is a spending plan. So that's where I want to go. That's what, what I want to see happen here. This is where I am now, I've assessed. And then the third thing I need to do is to then now create a spending plan or what people call a budget that is aligned with where I want to go. So I might need to cut out some things, I might need to remove some things entirely or reduce some spending so that I'm able to put aside something that can help me get to where I want to go. And then things like emergency funds are very important. Having some money set aside for emergencies 
um, just putting aside a little money, begin with one month of your expenses and grow from there. The next thing is debt. You also have to have a strategy about debt and making sure that if you have debt for consumption, you make sure that you have a plan to get out of that debt. And then you have to invest. And you have to invest wisely based on your needs and your goals. And I'm going so fast, but we shall go slower. But finally, you need to learn and to grow in your knowledge of what to do with your money. So for example, I, if I need to know, okay, I need to invest, where do I start? What investment options can help me to be able to generate a passive income? What do they look like? How, what is the kind of risk I'd be taking? What's the interest rate that is available for me? What are the requirements? What are the risk, uh, risks involved in investing in these things? And then make that decision. So just in an overview, it begins by assessing where I am. Where am I now? I'm sorry, not assessing where I am. It begins with my, my where, what do I want to see, my goal. Where do I want to see happen here? And then assessing where I am. And then creating a spending plan that will align with where I want to go, okay? And then once I've done that, I start thinking, okay, yes, I want to go there, I want to invest my money, but I need to have an emergency fund so that when something happens that is unexpected and it is urgent, I'm not selling my land, I'm not having to go into debt um, and being in a space of being very stressed out. And then as I do that, I start working also on my debt to make sure that I start paying it down and then I invest and continue to learn and grow in my knowledge. But start with assessing where you want to go. What's that goal? Amazing. Guys, if you're not taking notes, I don't know what, 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 what's going on in your minds. But I really, really hope, personally, I'm like, okay, emergency fund, it's usually one of my girlfriends that I call <laughs> when, when I need that. So now it's, you know, it's really hitting.